So this week's going to be a little different. Um, instead of telling you what I normally do in the week, I'm going to tell you a couple of stories. Uh, since college is nearly over, I've been thinking about all the awkward things that have happened to me over the years in school. And stupidly I decided to make this video. So I'm going to share two stories with you today. Uh, first one comes from my first year in middle school which would have been year five so I've been about nine um, my older brother is uh, three years older than me so at the time of this story he was still in the school with me um, about a month after I started middle school it was still summer so everybody had us out on the field for lunch break um, so I went to find my brother uh, to see you know younger brother stupidly still thinking him and his big brother are best friends so I went to go find my big brother uh, found him with a group of his friends and then they decided it would be hilarious to play a prank on me one of my brother's friends decided to crouch down behind me and my brother pushed me over them now this is where the story gets interesting because while I was quite a heavy kid I did not realize my head of yeah walking towards us so I was lying on the ground winded screaming square words more swear words than a nine-year-old should have known and of course this is when all my brother's friends stop laughing and go deadly quiet and that's of course when I stop shouting swear words look up and there's my head of year, who I've only known for a month and has already singled me out for the worst punishment of the year. So I am dragged to the head teacher's office, yelled at some more, instead of being yelled at in front of the entire school, which I already was, I was yelled at in private again for exactly the same thing, which was entirely my brother's fault. school for you. So um, story two happened uh, three years later in year eight so this would have been end of middle school for us kids in Britain. Uh, it was in the middle of a Spanish class uh, near the end of the year so like summer. I was about to leave going to high school and of course this is when everything goes wrong story so bad why did I choose this one um, so I was in the middle of a Spanish class in the middle of summer and a little bit of backstory I you know, have hay fever so yeah um, so I'm in the middle of this Spanish class my best friends sitting next to me telling me all these crap jokes that when you're 12 are hilarious and he was just pulling to the end of this brilliant joke I mean it was the best one he told me all week and we used to just sit and tell each other jokes we never learned anything and of course that's when I start to get that feeling you know that feeling when you feel this tickling in the back of your nose when you know you're about to sneeze and of course that's when he wraps up the end of the joke I start laughing and because I'm laughing I can't stop myself from sneezing and I sneezed everywhere. <clears throat> I mean, of course, the natural thing to do, cover your face. In this instant, it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. I mean, oh, so bad. Uh, my hands were covered in gunk. I think that's the best way I can put that. But, um... Yeah, um, literally both hands covered. And of course, this is when my friend stops laughing at his own stupid joke, looks down at my hands, points and just says as loud as he can, what the fuck is that? I mean, we were only about 12, so 
swearing in the middle of a Spanish class kind of gets you noticed. Not as much as what I did. Uh, yeah, the teacher kind of stops the lesson. Goes to shout at both of us. Which is, of course, when I turn, show on my hands, full of gunk. And she just kind of stops dead. She just stops, stares at me, and almost exactly like my friend did, what the hell was that? And it was like, I just had to sit there and say, Miss, I need to go to the toilet. And of course, after seeing the mess I'd made of my own hands, she of course didn't question this. And it was just, get out, go to the bathroom, wash your hands and come straight back. Uh, so I got up, out of my seat, which was pretty easy considering I couldn't hold anything. Which is of course when I hit my first hurdle. The door, uh, those handle, those handles are a bit tricky when you can't use your hands. So of course the teacher kind of disgusted with me. I have to turn back to her and ask her to open the door. Um, she of course didn't like this. And to this day, whenever I see that teacher, she can't look me in the eye or look at me with a straight face. So. <laughs> Oh, that story is so bad. I don't. I don't know why I t decided to tell these stories. But anyway, those are my school stories. Well, those are just a couple from the many awkward school stories that I have. Um, let me know what you think. If you want to hear more awkward stories, comments, video responses, you know what to do. And if you want to share your awkward stories with me go for it. And I'll see you guys soon.